Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to do a practice problem from Scott Fogler's book Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering. The practice problem I'll be doing is number 7b from chapter 2. And this problem shows us that species A is reacting to yield species B and C. Uh, this is an exothermic reaction and it was carried out adiabatically and the following data was recorded. Here we can see X is the different values of the conversion and then our negative RA is the different rates at the different conversion values. We are also given that the entering molar flow rate of A is 300 moles per minute. So for part A it's asking what is the PFR volume necessary to achieve 40% conversion uh, this is the equation we'll be using for this problem. Uh, the molar flow rate of A coming in times dx over dv equals negative r sub A, the rate of A. And then putting this into integral form, we see that the volume is equal to that entering molar flow rate times the integral from 0 to our conversion of dx over negative r sub A. And since we are not given the rate law for this reaction, we must use the given experimental data and use the trapezoidal rule to determine the volume. So here's the trapezoidal rule. This tells us that we can replace the integral with this equation right here. Delta x over 2 times the function of your x0 plus 2 times the function of your x1 plus 2 times the function of your x2 on and on until you get to the final term where you don't multiply it by 2 it is, but you're adding the function of x of your last term. For our problem specifically we were given the different values of x which are the conversions and then the associated negative r sub a values, which is the rate at each different conversion. And then we will take that one step further and take the inverse of each r sub a value. And this will give our, our function of conversion for our trapezoidal rule. Now to use the trapezoidal rule, we can see that 0 0.2 is our delta x for our equation. And then these three values here are the different functions of our conversion. Uh, adding those together and multiplying by 0 0.2 divided by 2 gets us 0 0.2398 decimeters cubed times minute over mole. Now to find the volume, we know that we have to take the entering molar flow rate, which is 300 moles per minute, and multiply that by our previous answer that we just got using our trapezoidal rule and we can see that the moles cancel and the minutes cancel leaving us just with decimeters cubed and our final answer for this problem is that the volume of the PFR necessary to achieve 40% conversion is 72 decimeters cubed. Thank you.